Good afternoon. My name is Sincerus Kingsley, and I'm a graduate of University of Maryland with a bachelor's in cybersecurity and a member of Group 5 Group Social Fellowship Incorporated. Today, I would like to share with you the importance of cybersecurity in a COVID-19 pandemic world. Coronavirus or COVID-19 was found in late 2019, identified, I should say. Then it became a pandemic or was named a pandemic in March 11th of 2020. At this time, the coronavirus has killed more than hundreds of thousands of people in America. Today, jobs are allowing the employees because of health reasons. Of course, you go outside, you have to wear a mask, you have to do six feet social distancing. Corporations are allowing their employees to work from home. The home is now an extension of the corporate network. Welcome to the new corporate network, ladies and gentlemen. So we know the corporate network is your job. You go to your job, you connect to your job. You have a secure connection all on the campus of your corporation. Well, now you go home and you connect to your corporation from your home. But at what cost? I know it feels nice being at home. You can save money on gas. Really nice, but at what cost? Is it at the cost of some malicious actor? Or better yet, a hacker getting into your network and potentially causing damage? to the corporate network itself. Say for instance, uh, I was just talking to a colleague the other day. Basically, my colleague was working with the bank and was at his home performing a penetration test on the network. Basically, that's just saying that he's trying to get into the network and break in. Of course, he got paid for it by the company. But what he basically did was broke into the network within nine minutes and moved money around in the bank. Now, suppose you woke up tomorrow morning and there's no money in your account. That's not funny. We have to practice cybersecurity today like never before. When we go home, we connect to the internal network. I have some things listed that we can do to make sure our network remains and stays safe to keep malicious actors entering our corporate network. When we take our laptop home, usually the corporation has installed antiviruses or antivirus software on the equipment. These are phones and also laptops. Maybe desktop computers as well. If you still use them. Once you get home, what do you do? How do you connect? You want the network safe? Okay. When you connect to the internet, you want to use a physical connection, an ethernet connection. Why do we want to use an ethernet connection? An uh, Ethernet connection provides a connection to the network, a physical connection where data is not easily intercepted by another device or by somebody that wants to read that data or do something malicious with that data. Sure, it's comfortable to use Wi-Fi. We can walk all around the house and do what we need to do, but Ethernet connection is better security than Wi-Fi. Over Wi-Fi, data could be easily intercepted. Oh, plus, 
with a physical connection, your connection is faster. You'll get better speeds and everything. When we first put internet in our homes, we went to someplace like Staples, bought a router, and connected it in our home. Well, we say, oh, we can have a network name and a passphrase. Well, just like the incident I told you about that bank, my colleague gained access to the network within nine minutes because a user had a passphrase that you can find in a dictionary, which he launched a dictionary attack to find those credentials. In saying that, being that your corporate network is now extended to the home, your home network is now a end device. You want to make sure your passphrase is as strong as possible. With that being said, your passphrase should not be any name found in a dictionary. It shouldn't be information that identifies you. Because you know on the internet, when we go to Facebook, when we go to Twitter, we put in information about us our children's name, our middle name, date of birth, anything that identifies us. Well, that can be used to gain access into your network. So what I would say is use a 12 to 15 digit characters, rather, um, a mixture of symbols, um, numbers, uppercase, lowercase letters. If you need help with that, you can Google and you could probably get uh, um, program that will make a password for you. I don't really think that's secure either because now that software has your password. Um, or um, you can ask someone to help you make a password. Next thing is that when you get a router from your department store or wherever have you, a lot of people don't know there is an admin panel. A lot of people do know. Well, that admin panel has a default username and password on it, which is easily available on the internet. All you have to do is go to www. the company that makes the router and say default password. It's going to give you the default username and the password for that company to get into that router. So make sure that that's secure as well. Also, when you leave your job with that laptop, most of you have seen on the screen where it says VPN. That means virtual private connection. Virtual private connection means that you have a tunnel from your home network to your job network that's encrypted. Now, whether you use MD5 hash or whatever type of encryption, that is your job. That's related to your job. I don't work in a security operations center. I don't know what they would use, but I do know there's different levels of encryption, but basically to get to the point, a VPN is a tunnel that promotes confidentiality and integrity of your data to make sure it's not tampered with, to make sure the wrong person doesn't see it because we don't want that. We transfer very sensitive data over the internet to our jobs. Next, watch your social networks on your computers, on your work computers. Going to a social network can mean catastrophic damages to the corporation. Only use your computer for its intended use to connect to the corporate network. Devices that you might connect to your computer. I know most of you have flash drives or better yet thumb drives or external uh, devices that you carry around with you to go to a meeting and bring up a PowerPoint um, or something. Bring up some pictures of your child, anything. Do not connect those devices to your work laptop unless approved. As a matter of fact, if you don't know where that flat child came from, do not connect it to your computer. Because what can happen is an attacker could install 
an exe or an executable device on a flash drive and once you plug it into the network and that exe file executes the attacker now has or it is now inside your network and again catastrophic damages can occur out of these damages that can occur this attacker can steal data this attacker could take down the network. I know you heard of um, Equifax, all these other different companies where the server went down because the attacker used computers to take down a network and what's known as a distributed denial of service attack or a DDoS attack. Next thing I want to speak to you about is email. Yeah, we have email. This is 2020. We don't write anything else down. We email people. It gets to them within seconds, which is great. My recommendations are do not look at your email on your work laptop. So a lot of us go to the internet. We shop from the internet. We shop from different places on the internet. We use our email to sign in. We might use our email to sign into Facebook. So what happens when we see a piece of jewelry that might cost a significant amount of money? We go to that website. We sign into that web. We sign up for that website with our email. Three weeks later, you get an email saying that jewelry is 75% off and you're interested. <laughs> Everybody would be. You click on the link. You go to the link, you put in your information, but guess what? It's not the site that you thought it was or that it looks like. The attacker has all your information. And a lot of times it's a file that executes and they can get in your computer that's getting into the corporate network. So please refrain from using emails on your work computer. Storage devices, back to storage devices, CD-ROMs or, or CDs, you don't want to use CDs at all. Um, unless they're given to you by your job. Anything conclusive to your job, use on your computers. Your personal information, use that on the laptop. Um, because it can mean catastrophic damage to you, your network, or your job. It's been my pleasure speaking to you about cybersecurity and coronavirus or COVID-19. Security is a shared responsibility between everyone. It's a shared responsibility that we can keep the universe safe, the universal network safe from an attacking malicious actors in this world. Thank you for your time. Secure the universe. My name is Sincerus Kingsley. You all enjoy your day.